Hello my fellow humans, welcome back to another Daily Dice where we ask the dice a question or a message that you guys need to hear today. Keep in mind these are general messages, so if they are resonating, make sure you leave a thumbs up down below, subscribe to the channel and set that notification bell knowing that doing so will allow me to connect with your energy and get you out more resonant readings. So with that being said, we'll go ahead and get into your message and see what is your guys' daily dice. So source for my fellow humans today, what is a daily dice? How can we help them out? What do they need to know? What is a daily dice for today, source? What are the messages that you got going on for us? What can we know? We've got seventh house with Cancer and Saturn. Okay. So there's a home relationship that's getting nurtured today. Okay, and there's some tough love that's coming out. So, <laughs> okay, uh, so I did hear that this could be with a child. Okay, this doesn't have to be. Just knowing that if it's not a child, it is a home situation, but the messages are going to be very similar. There's something that's tough today, especially with the Saturn energy. We've got the planet of tough love, guys, the planet of tough love. But you're talking about relationships with seventh house, okay? Okay. And this could be having justice in a relationship. This could be dealing with the shadow aspect of a relationship. And it can be any kind of relationship today. But with the Cancerian energy coming out next to here, it is a relationship, a situation at home. Okay. There is a, ne a need to nurture yourself, to be there for yourself, but to show up in a supportive energy as well for those around you today. There's a good deal of healing that actually comes from allowing everyone to speak their mind while also asking them to leave space for you to speak your mind as well. Not in an aggressive way today. I feel like there's usually an air of passive aggressiveness at home that comes out. It's like everybody doing things to poke at everybody else's buttons. And today it's truly just about being blunt, being straightforward and saying, you know what, I really don't like it when you do that. And I know that you get irritated with me when I do this. How about today we try our best to not do that to each other and see what happens. You know, it's just about being really honest about it. You don't have to be rude. Honesty never has to be rude. Honesty always comes from a place of compassion. It's when you're trying to hurt someone or to poke at somebody, that's when it comes from a place of being crass and rude, okay? But with the Saturn energy here, we are talking about allowing yourself to really look at the foundations that you have. Is this the structure that you want at home? And if it's not, can you take responsibility for what kind of a structure you would like at home? And what steps do you need to take to change yourself so that you can embody that being that you'd like to be? It's not about changing everyone in the situation. This is simply about changing yourself. Okay, and it's not that you aren't enough. You are absolutely enough. However, there is a situation that is coming through that you are not happy with. And this is asking you guys, where can you start to bring discipline and responsibility and accountability for yourself so that you guys can let go of those blocks and burdens that are keeping you guys in a place of lack and poverty, Okay, especially if it comes to home relationships, you know, we spend a lot of time at home and we love these people, whoever they are, parents, uh, spouses, kids, siblings, whoever they are, right? But if we have a lot of tension that's going on, it makes us not want to go home and we end up running away from the situation, which is never a healthy thing to begin with. And so this is about you guys really facing that head on. And seeing what comes from that, right? If you've always shown up one way, change that up. Don't show up that way today. Show up, show up a different way, right? And how can you bring the highest expression of love for yourself into the situation? Because you can only bring in as much as you love yourself, right? That's the highest love that anyone can bring into any one situation is how we love ourselves. And that is always ever-changing, especially if we go on the journey of self-love, right? Right? And that's what they're saying today. Bring in your highest expression of love into this situation. Okay. So we have 31 flipping over four. This is 31 is four here. That's all about our foundations, our structure, our stability, which is absolutely connected to home. We have love makes a difference. Love helps heal past hurts and provides a sense of security and self-worth. I love this message came out. It is so resonant with what is going on. 
in this reading. We have receive with love and appreciation. Gracious acceptance is a way to show love. So let's see. Let's get one of these out on it. Yeah, that's the one. Create. It's creation snake with 43. So seven, and seven is all about luck if you change what it is that you're doing. This is shedding an old skin so that you guys can come into this heart. This is your heart, right? And so when you guys allow yourselves to root yourself into your heart and know what it is that you want, then you guys will be able to balance this out, right? It's not going to be easy. The steps to get there will always be simple, right? Saturn shows us that, but Saturn also reminds us that anything that's worth having is worth fighting for. It's the planet of tough love. So you guys are going to go through a difficult situation. We have ancestors on the bottom here with polar bear, again, pointing out that this is a family situation going on, whoever it is that you consider family. Okay, but this is going to help you guys on your journey once you come into a place of balancing this energy within yourself, not the situation, within yourself, okay? So this is what I have for you guys. I hope that it resonates. If it did, leave me a thumbs up down below. But with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. And until next time, guys, stay human. Bye.